Today marks five years since the deadly mass shooting over at Santa Fe High School. On this day in 2018, 10 people were killed, 13 were wounded, and the entire community's lives were changed forever. Fox 26's Natalie He joining us live from the school grounds where the unveiling of a new statue is happening right now. Natalie. Well, Caroline and Rashi, right now we are waiting for the Santa Fe 10 Memorial Foundation to officially unveil that warrior spirit statue. Right now it's still being covered with a sheet as they go through the ceremony process inside. Today is a somber day for so many people in the community, and today we caught up with some of the victims' families. The past couple of years, I feel like I've treated May 18th like a work day. I've visited Santa Fe several times since then. I just haven't gone anywhere near the high school. In her first sit down interview since the deadly mass shooting five years ago, Ashley Perkins Seagrave says she'll be facing her grief head on, returning to Santa Fe High School for the first time in years. Her mom, Ann Perkins, was one of the 10 people murdered by a gunman on May 18th, 2018. My mom cared a lot about the kids there and you know, she she was known as the cool sub, <laughs> you know, and honestly, I don't know what she did to this kid to deserve it. A year ago, Ashley and her husband moved to Nashville for a job opportunity. A few months into their new home, a tragedy all too familiar broke out minutes away. Being in Nashville, they just had the, the Covenant school shooting. Um, and when that happened, I was 10 minutes away from that school. Every victim's loved ones handles May 18th differently. Most families choose to leave town entirely. And some, like Rhonda Hart, who lost her daughter Kimberly Vaughn, schedules a day of distractions. This year, she's touring the Houston Museum of Natural Science. Just kind of get my mind out of that, you know, huge depressive crying state. I don't want to spend all day crying tomorrow. And I just try to find things that bring me joy. Recently, Rhonda and other Santa Fe families successfully passed Senate Bill 435 in the Texas legislature, which would grant victims' families access to their loved ones' autopsy reports after a crime. In five years, the case has not gone to trial as the admitted shooter remains under mental evaluation. And until now, the families have not received the closure they desperately need. We testified in front of the House and the Senate. We went back and forth. And the only thing we're waiting for right now is for Greg Abbott to sign the bill and make it officially a law. Once again, right now, we are waiting for the Warrior Spirit statue to be officially unveiled to the public. The statue will be dedicated to the fallen 10 whose lives were taken far too soon. We'll have more details coming up at 6 o'clock and tonight on 9 o'clock right here on Fox 26. For now, we're live from Santa Fe. Natalie He, Fox 26 News.